Tailwind CSS is most certainly like a magical toolbox that provides pre-built CSS classes for all your styling needs. It's a time saver, a productivity booster, and a shortcut to creating beautiful designs. But just like any powerful tool, it comes with a few downsides. Firstly, Tailwind CSS can spoil you with its convenience. It's so easy to slap on classes like BG Blue 500 for a blue background or Text Center to align text in the center. Before you know it, you might forget the fundamental principles of CSS, like understanding how box model works or how to structure a layout with semantic HTML. It's like relying on a magic spell without fully grasping the underlying magic. Additionally, Tailwind CSS introduces a whole new vocabulary. You'll find yourself surrounded by unfamiliar class names like Flex, Grid, and Justify Between. It's like learning a foreign language specific to Tailwind. While this can be great for quick prototyping and teamwork, it can hinder your ability to write raw CSS from scratch. So much so that suddenly, when faced with a blank CSS file, you may struggle to remember the correct syntax of CSS properties. Moreover, Tailwind's utility-first approach might make your CSS files resemble a crowded part. With all those class names flying around, it can become challenging to decipher the purpose of each rule. It's like attending a party where everyone has a nickname, and you're left scratching your head trying to figure out who's who. This can make your code less maintainable and harder to understand for others who haven't dived into the world of Tailwind. There's no doubt Tailwind CSS allows for rapid styling, but it can lead to inconsistencies in design if not used carefully while working as a team. Without a cohesive design system or defined style guide, different developers might interpret the utility classes differently, resulting in visual discrepancies across the project. It's important to establish clear design guidelines and ensure consistency throughout your code base. Although Tailwind CSS provides responsive utility classes that make it easy to create responsive designs, however, relying solely on these classes might limit your understanding of media queries and responsive design principles. It's important to learn how to write custom media queries and understand how different devices and screen sizes impact your designs. So I realized I must embrace Tailwind CSS as a valuable tool in my toolkit, but also make time to reinforce my foundational CSS knowledge and continue to experiment and build projects without relying solely on Tailwind's classes. It's always important to maintain a balance between convenience and understanding. The knowledge of pure CSS most certainly provides the foundation that keeps your design strong and your coding skills evergreen. That's all for the video. If you found it insightful, give it a like and subscribe and stay tuned for more.